What's up Team Boosted? Welcome to another 240Z video. Our 240Z with a uh, controversial engine swap has a lot of stuff to get done to it. Uh, we know what direction we want to have with this now. We want to run at least 10s on the strip. To do that we need to do a lot of things. Uh, but before we're even there we need to finish upgrading the uh, the body, we're going to make it a little bit wider and change the wheels, obviously. If you watch our channel, you know that. So we got this huge list here. Basically, there's things that we need to do before it gets wrapped, before the wheels come in, and there's things that we want to do in the long run um, to make it achieve what we want to achieve, a 9 or 10 second quarter mile. 9 would be great. Uh, there's a Fox body online with a 2.3, this same setup that does that. And I don't think our car is any heavier than that. So it could be achievable if we do it right. Well, Devin handles that list. I took care of something that's just as important. Today's Taco Tuesday, Devin. And I just sent Matt out to get a shit ton of tacos. So we'll see if he actually listens to me. I think he will. <laughs> he respects tacos. We need Tuesday. that to do. All we can do today is a bunch of that boring shit. We can install a blow up though. We can see if we get that China one to work on this. All right, so this list is divided into a few different categories. Before we do the wrap, you know, before we drive this car all over the place, the wheels on the tires, we can't really do anything about that because uh, the wheels are being made and, you know, they're going to be done when they're going to be done. Uh, the fenders, that's the same thing. Those things go along with each other, so basically, I don't want to cut these and put the banana fenders on them uh, without having the wheels that are going to be on it because the wheels are going to allow us to line up the new fenders and without that, we could have crooked fenders. It could look even more shitty than it already does. So, um, before it gets wrapped, uh, we got to paint match things. There's still unpainted surfaces on this car. Uh, you know, like this is just primer. These are just cheap uh, fiberglass parts. Like this is a different silver, obviously. That's spray paint. And we just wanna, we just wanna not have that before it gets wrapped. Uh, the hood can go on at any point. The dump pipe. That's very important. I think we're gonna do that on Thursday. The issue with that is that our wastegate just goes to atmosphere. But our uh, our really important wires are right below that, and every time it opens, which is often, it just roasts all of our wires. And then I guess Devin's entitled this next one to not be shitty. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of shitty things about this car. Uh, you know, the turbo oil fitting leaks, not a lot, so I guess it really doesn't matter. The dipstick doesn't really matter. It's in there, but not very good. You don't really need a tack. You don't need any of the, I mean, you need... I mean, that's up to you to decide whether you need any of this shit or not. We, we definitely I would, want all of that shit. I, I would argue that a lot of this stuff is needed, but not immediately, I guess, is the is the thing here. Boost controller, uh, we want one that's better than an eBay one. Um, that's not in here right now, we're just running on the spring. Okay, so the problem that we have with the gauges that are in here right now, and I'm in here explaining why we need to replace these. Although this might look like it lights up and it's great and it's easy to read, sitting in the driver's seat, it's kind of, I, I, we should have like switched these around and put it right there. But other than that, the, the font's very small and when it's bright out, it's very difficult to read exactly how much boost you're running. In addition to that, this is a narrow band gauge. We <laughs> fucked up and bought the wrong one completely, so it doesn't work with our wide band controller. Uh, we found a solution on eBay. Unfortunately, it costs 500 bucks, but we're gonna do it anyway. It's gonna be well worth it. The solution is actually a package deal for both of these gauges. It'll come with the air fuel ratio gauge, which is also a controller, as well as a boost gauge, which is also a controller. So we'll be able to just control how much boost we're running directly in the car. So we're gonna be getting rid of the Spartan setup. So when he said this is also a controller, uh, it just means that it's, um, it, you know, it's, calibrated and shit you don't need the, the spartan controller and then this being a controller it has a valve in it and uh it'll allow us to uh, electronically adjust the boost pressure from inside the car which is badass so very cool it's it's got a huge digital uh readout and um it'll be good to have let's yeah. go back to that list blow off valve we're probably gonna dick around with that today because it's super easy it may or may not work but it's about time we have some jdm noises on this channel yeah uh turbo blanket just keep shit you know stuff down and that it temperatures down in the uh the the bullshit uh, i've been talking about this fucking list for a long time now <laughs> and then what we want to do with the car is it's going to be hilarious drag car um the reason for that is that the number one thing that you guys said you change about this car is the engine it would probably be very easy to get into the tens with a v8 but we like the the idea and the challenge of getting in the tens and maybe even a nine second pass with the shitty four cylinder from the 80s um, it's unique, you know, there's a lot of these with, with small block Chevys, there's a lot of these with, uh, you know, RBs, and there's even a few with two JZs, but I don't know a lot of people who run 9 seconds with a 88 Ford Thunderbird 2.3, there's probably a good reason for that, but to do that, uh, here is the good reason for that, to do that you need all this bullshit, 
Uh, well, we need an R200 because the R180 will definitely explode. Um, our R200 also has limited slip. In addition to that, um, direct uh, coil ignition instead of the EDIS, that's so we can do two-step. The transmission, here's the big one. The T5, it doesn't mount up with anything. So we could use a Doug Nash, we could use a T56, we could use a TKO600, but they all need to have their input shafts milled down to the T5, which makes them unsellable. Or the other way around, you could have our crankshaft milled out to have the bushing for the bigger ones. You gotta re-engineer all this shit because none of them line up with a, a, a four-cylinder from the 80s. Uh, E85 is super easy to do. The other thing is the rear end of the car. Um, currently, with the setup that it is right now, <laughs> if it breaks, the wheel literally falls off. So it's very dangerous. So we gotta do R200. Like all of this drivetrain shit, that's gonna cost like five thousand dollars easily. And that's just to make sure it doesn't explode. If we yeah. if we make you know a if we're actually going to go to the strip, we're going to need all that stuff, or else we'll just make fools of ourselves. We might be able to pull a 10 second with the T5 because four cylinders don't make you know huge torque figures. Um, it really depends. I don't think we'd be able to do like a hard launch with launch control or anything like that. Um, we try it first, obviously, and then you know we'll do it until it blows up, and then we'll invest the money. But uh. We gotta get cracking on this list. This is the this point that I'm trying to make. We have like immediate things, intermediate shit, and then the end goal. So that's what we want to do with this car. It's Let's gonna be it. it's gonna be a hilariously unique drag car. It's gonna be sweet. Porsche is getting the nicer HKS one, and I think that if we're gonna use that for anything, it might as well be the Datsun. So we're gonna pull this off of this, and then put it on the Datsun, basically just see if it works. Yeah, it's pretty simple. So as you guys know. Our turbo uh, had an oil issue, and if you look in the intercooler, you'll just see it's, it's probably got a whole quart in there. So what we're going to have to do when we uh, actually rebuild the turbo, which is might be able to do that later this week, is to just uh, run gasoline through this. Well, not when it's on the car, if you're thinking. Yeah, we'll, we'll take it out. <laughs> <Obviously. laughs> but we'll clean it. we got to clean out all this piping. Uh, we don't want any of that going into the engine. It's not a huge deal if it does, but it's going to be a huge smoke show. It'll be very impressive for anybody else <laughs> behind us on the road. Yeah. Uh, I prefer that not to happen. So Devin's about to rip this off, and then we'll just slap it on the... Uh, the turbo's disconnected, too, so it's pretty much just get the rubber off enough so that I can pull it out of here. The good thing about having shitty intercooler piping is we can just, like, change the configuration pretty rapidly. So if we need to put in a shitty eBay part, it's no problem at all. All right. Matt's sending us pictures of the tacos. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Oh, we got the Taco Bell special. <laughs> we we live in California, dude's getting Taco Bell, Devin. That's what's up, man. Taco Bell. Bomb. Yeah, Taco Bell's pretty good. All right, ghetto fab. So you see this, and we're just gonna make a little flip. Look at this, and let's cut it in right. We need room for the rubber couplers, so I guess right here. Yeah, that'd be good. All right, boom. You boys ready to poop yourselves? Always. Yeah. I'm excited for the curveball tacos, whatever that means. Look at those, soft tacos too. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> Alright, let's eat. And then uh, I guess we'll fuck around with this. Should have installed the JDM noises. We'll see if it actually works on this car. It didn't on the Porsche, so I don't really have a whole bunch of confidence. I obviously got to put fire sauce on the fire taco. Fire, as always. <laughs> See your mouth anymore, dude. It's just too much beard. Good thing we got these eBay harnesses. Yeah. About that, I had no idea these were fake when I bought them, but then I looked at it and they're totally fucking fake. So oh, we'll, yeah. get, we'll get some real ones soon. Not we can do better right now. But yeah, they, uh, they do something. It's not yeah. like they. Yeah. We're not just oh, floating God around. Yeah, we gotta shut the hatch. We should uh, probably actually get the the latch to close that. Our little clamp works for now, though. All right, let's go see if we can make some JDM noises and not die. <laughs>
having it, but it's way more than we had before. Whew. Yeah, so it, it was catching on fire. Uh, <laughs> all, so we're gonna sit here and watch because all it's doing is the the headers are very hot, and like I said, this this, this uh, thing is still leaking. Yeah, the feed doesn't doesn't work. So we're just gonna make Devin's Devin's standing by. So we're good. We're just gonna I'm make ready. sure it doesn't stay on fire. But that's what's happening right now. Yeah, it's just very, very, very hot. I don't know if you guys heard that, but this works, so we're gonna keep it on there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's still smelling. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This works. We're gonna keep that on there. That's great. Um, it's good enough for our turbo. Um, car's on fire, so I'm gonna put this camera down. That's quick. sweet. That's a first. So it's done doing that, which is good. But for like a few minutes, it was just momentarily bursting into flames, which, <laughs> which is a first for us. Uh, you figure we would have had something light on fire by now, but this is first. This is first. Well, the only thing that's ever lit on fire previous to this is when we did bacon on the exhaust, but that was to be expected. All right, we're going to cut this one off. Um, you know, it feels early, but I know at the beginning of the video we did a lot of talking about what we want to do with this car, and that's important for us to move forward with it. Um, if we really want to, you know, move in a, in, in a consistent direction, we need to know what the end goal for the car is, and we've decided to try to hit tens or Bit of it, uh, I wouldn't say unrealistic because it's been done with this engine. Nines, that'd be great. When I say nines, it's going to be high nines. But if we could break 10, that'd be awesome. Yeah, that'd be sweet. And don't worry, on the list, uh, the oil fitting has moved over and has been starred as top priority. Oh, Next thing to do. <laughs> it's definitely urgent. And so hopefully that comes tomorrow because to do the uh, dump pipe, we're going to need to drive it. Um, probably like 30 miles away and it caught on fire after 10 minutes today so definitely don't want to do that without the oil fitting so that's yeah. that's a top priority there's a bunch of shit on the list the, the drivetrain upgrade that, that's gonna be huge to put a t56 in this car or a TKO 600 probably not gonna need that but to do something like that would be uh, a pretty big job but you know we've we've done shit like that in the past so yeah. For right now, let's drive around without it catching fire. <laughs> yeah, let's let's make sure it drives without catching on fire, and let's get the dump pipe to a, a reasonable spot. I think we might do it at the hood. <laughs> we'll have a side exit exhaust and dump pipe at the hood. There's been, be been a few locations mentioned. Yeah, that's one of them. Uh, Devin's gonna go ahead and pick a winner for this video. Blah, 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 blah. Devin's gonna go ahead and pick a winner for this video's giveaway. If you guys are not familiar with the channel, we give away products from BoostedShades.com every single video. That's also the best way to support us, guys. That's what's pages for. That's I can't freaking talk right now. Maybe because our car was just on fire and there's like smoke in here and shit. That's also right. the best way to support us. Is to head on over to BoostedShades.com and uh, see what we have to offer. All right, this video's winner is A B. I like your comment. He's the guy who said, uh, working with brake fluid, still not wearing eye protection. Oh, yeah. Well, I can see now. So, like, the effects weren't lasting long enough for, like, me to actually learn a lesson. Maybe if I was permanently, permanently blinded, I'd take, like, really good care of the other eye, but that's not the case. So, you can hit us up at Team Boosted at BoostedChance.com or through any of our social media platforms. We will get back to you and ship you your prize. Uh, if you guys are interested in winning the giveaways, all you have to do is like, subscribe, and leave a comment. The comment could be anything, or it could be answering a question that we asked at the end of the video. This video is question. We ate tacos earlier. It's Taco Tuesday. We want to know what your favorite taco is. Chicken pork, you know, and then you can, you know, diversion it, like shredded chicken, ground beef, uh, like carne asada, like actual fucking steak and shit. Okay. That's what I'm, I mean, you could have both in here, you know, your favorite place let's, and the type. Let's do uh, specifics then. TKO Tacos is a taco with cotija cheese, like, encrusted around it, and it comes with, like, crispy fries on top and so it's bomb. You, like, you could leave that your, would be you my could, favorite. You could leave your taco-related comment in the comment section, or any comment, and you're eligible to win, but that's it for this video. As always, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.